degrees. 120 Fahrenheit beating down the tent right now. Are you guys alive in there? I just watched the playback of the last shot, and that was Aseta's very first crawl forward. She's been on her knees lots and she's crawled backwards, but I actually saw her move forward. Let's do a quick replay. <laughs> yes, your first Whoa. crawl was caught on camera. Wow! Yeah. You're so hot you had to walk to the pool. Yeah, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's right. There's no toys that'll get her to move forward, but getting to the cold air, that's worth crawling forward for, right? Yay! Good job, Seta. Oh, oh, I'm exhausted. We still gotta get a cover on this. Sweating. I'm sweating, it's hot. It's 30 degrees out there. It's a lot better in here, hey? No bugs, got yeah. the cold air. How are you feeling now? Happy? Much better, right? Much better. I agree. When we got out here today, it was like survival mode. It was 30 above, just super hot. Black flies, mosquitoes, and we just got the fires going, got some smoke in the air to get rid of all the bugs, got the tent set up, and then thankfully got the air conditioning set up. This is the first time I've ever been camping with air conditioning and I'm incredibly grateful. Uh, this is one of, those, one of those moments where I'm glad I'm a parent and I can use my daughter as an excuse to uh, have a little extra luxury on a camping experience. We've got some camping trips planned this summer and we're not sure how set is gonna hold up in the tent and their multi-day canoe trip. So we're kind of, this is our first camping experience. This is Aseta's first overnight in a tent. We've uh, set the tent up in the yard and let her play in there, but anyways, uh, what we're really here to talk about is the EcoFlow Wave. This is, from what I understand and the research I've done, the most portable air conditioning of this amount of power. So probably the best unit on the market for van camping, camping like this. Um, we actually got this unit to air condition our cabin. So when we're sleeping up in the loft at night, this is going to be the air conditioning that keeps us cool. So. When I started building this cabin, I never planned on having air conditioning, but thanks to EcoFlow, we will have air conditioning in our cabin. Um, it's extremely simple to use. There's only four buttons. So you got a mode button. This turns it from either just a fan, which is gonna use less power, or the air conditioning mode, which is gonna use more power, but obviously cool the air. You've got a temperature gauge, so you can kind of set it to what temperature you want it to be at or you can set the timer. So say for example, you want it to stay cold or you want to have it running through an eight hour period. You just set the amount of time you want it to run for and then it'll calculate how much power it can put out. And then you've got the power button. So really simple, just a simple dial that allows you to uh, scroll up and down. You got your setting for your fan. So that's a low fan setting. I'll crank it up to a high speed here so you can see the amount of noise that it puts out. So it'll take a little bit more moment of here to rev up, but this is now full speed. And it puts out a good amount of good amount of air. 
That's called a cold wave, EcoFlow wave. <laughs> it's definitely giving you a good torque of air coming out that you certainly can feel. And even without the actual canopy on this tarp or on this tent and just the screen, it is blowing cold air around this tent and dramatically colder inside the tent than when we step outside. So turn that back down. Uh, there's three ways to power the unit. When we use it at home, we just plug it in to uh, regular AC, regular grid power with an extension cord, and that runs for endless amount of, of time. You can also use the uh, existing EcoFlow power packs. So we've got the EcoFlow Max and a few extra batteries. So that's how we will power it when the battery runs out. So the third option is the attachable battery. And this is actually running really good. I, I filled up the battery when we were at the house at home and we've been running at full speed here for I don't know, maybe an hour, not quite, I guess not full speed. Uh, we did have it running full speed for a while and I've still got three out of four bars. The air conditioning unit just sits right in and then plugs in over here on the side. In order to charge the battery, it is just a matter of plugging in this unit to a regular grid or plugging it into one of the other uh, charging stations, or there's actually, I see a solar, uh, solar uh, plug as well. So you can charge the onboard battery three different ways. We have two choices on how to vent the air in and out. We could either put the air conditioning outside the tent and then just vent the cold air in, or we've got it inside the tent, which allows us to access all the controls, and allows the intake of the air to be coming from inside the tent, which is already colder, and then just putting the uh, exhaust, the hot air, outside the tent. So um, that makes sense because we've got a nice big tent here. If we had a smaller tent, this thing would be outside the tent and we'd just be shooting the, the cold air in. And also this tent has two doors, so it's really convenient just to let one door occupy the air conditioning and we use the other door to go in and out. But that's, that's basically it. It's extremely simple to use. You basically can just pull it out of the box and start using it. Uh, not much to learn. It's pretty uh, intuitive. And uh, it's making this weekend's camping trip a uh, possibility, whereas we might have just canceled the plans because uh, with 30 degree forecast, sleeping in a tent with a seven month old doesn't seem like very much fun. So this has definitely given us a, a level of comfort, level of luxury. And uh, if you want to stick around, we're going to be doing a nice campfire cookout and doing an overnight camp here. So we'll be keeping the camera rolling throughout the rest of the rest of the trip here. is your salmon wow. so just put in it on the bread there melt the cheese and we need some potatoes yeah. too wow. very hot i can't let it touch the cast iron wow this is service hey this looks delicious i think it will be wow it's like perfect yeah Soy. Mm. Mm -mm. Oh. Mm. Nice chunk, eh? Yeah, you can have it. Mm. Cream cheese is good.
Are we gonna sleep here tonight? We get to cuddle. Whoa! Nice and soft. Good morning. Nice place to wake up, hey? Yeah. So we've just finished our first night camping with the EcoFlow Wave and I'm actually really impressed. My biggest concern with the product was when I saw how much time it could continue to air condition on the remaining battery life. And at one point I saw it at 1.6 hours, which concerned me because I'm thinking that's a pretty big unit and battery and expense to get a, only a couple hours of air conditioning. But what I didn't consider was that once you have that air conditioning in a small space and you've got that air locked in, you're gonna be using dramatically less battery once you get it cooled down just to maintain that cool temperature. I was running it at full speed trying to compete with the heat of the hot midday. And uh, so it was running at full bore, but once we got that tent cooled down and we had the temperature setting set to the temperature we wanted, the air conditioning just cooled right down and ended up running the battery, running the air conditioning all the way until I turned it off at around two in the morning. So we got another probably six hours of runtime off of it and we were comfortably comfortable in the tent. So um, at full speed, yeah, you only get maybe three, four hours, but, uh, but once you get that air contained, you actually can really lengthen the amount of time you can get that air conditioning to run for. So uh, overall, really happy. Uh, it's running behind me again. So we, right now it's just on a low setting. It says uh, even with one bar left on the battery, it still says I got 2.4 hours of runtime left and once you have that even at the lowest setting if you point that vent at you you get a nice cool breeze and it's definitely comfortable so um, if you're in a public campsite you know I'm having it running right now so you can get an idea for the loudness of it so you don't need to worry about being too loud on a public campsite where you got neighbors that you don't want to to bother it's it's relatively quiet and it was actually a really nice noise to sleep to it was a nice white noise and uh, our daughter had probably the best sleep she's had in a month. Uh, she slept uh, pretty much solid, woke up once through the night, so. Okay, a cloud just came in and I heard the battery stop charging. And as soon as this cloud clears, Gonna kick back in. Yeah, I'm not sure if you can hear that, but got the solar panel set up and I'm plugging them directly into the battery that the air conditioning mounts on. And so with these two solar panels, they're 160 watt panels. From my experience, because I'm always in treat areas, I'm not getting perfect direct light, so I'm getting about 200 watts, 220 watts. And when I had the air conditioning running at max, I was running about 450 watts, sometimes up to 500. But what that means is if you're on a hot summer day, which is the days where you need air conditioning and you have direct sunlight, for every hour of solar panel uh, power storage, you're gonna get half an hour of full bore air conditioning. So if you have your solar panels out for six hours, you're gonna be able to run your air conditioning at full speed for about three hours. <clears throat> but if you run it at a lower speed, which is what you're probably gonna end up doing once you get that initial cool down effect happening, you're probably gonna be able to run it for almost as much time as you're charging the solar panels. So this now makes it a completely self-sustainable system, having the two 660 watt panels and the air conditioning. You could be charging all day, air conditioning through the night. And uh, once again, I gotta give it to EcoFlow here. They really, they really pulled it off with the solar panels now part of the picture. 
uh, you, you can do multi-day air conditioning uh, completely off-grid. I do have one complaint about the, the EcoFlow Wave is I find it very difficult to connect the app to the device itself. All EcoFlow products have uh, app connectability, but I'm not able to connect the Wave at this point. And when I go to the app, the Wave is not an option on the app. Um, I do know that it works because I've seen other people do it, but I haven't been able to figure that out. So that'd be one of my criticisms. It uh, could be easier to connect to the app. Now, hopefully that changes because this is still a brand new product. It just came out a couple weeks ago, and I'm sure they're gonna update the app for the Equifull Wave very soon. Um, now, on the topic of new products, you know, if you are considering buying this, feel free to reach out in the, in the comments. You know, as I've spent more time using it, I'll probably learn a little bit more about it, might be able to give you some more insight and better feedback um, that I'm not able to provide in the video here today. So uh, if you're looking at buying it, you're on the fence, um, you have some questions, let me know in the comments and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Look at that. Left the temperature gauge in the sun and it is maxed out at 50 degrees. That means there's 50 degrees Celsius, that's uh, 120 Fahrenheit being down in the tent right now. Kaylin, are you guys alive in there? Yeah, we're good. They're okay. That would not be possible without this air conditioning.